You ready, princess? Let's go. So what's it gonna be for today's vlog, guys? Well, I thought uh, I'd take you mowing. We'll do that. We're gonna do a lot of stuff in this video. I'm gonna take you mowing. We're gonna use this super clean right here. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about uh, the tools that JT used on my cleanup uh, at my house. And we're just gonna BS a little bit. Man, I really need to get an overhead garage door opener for this side shop door. It's such a pain in the butt. So here we go. Uh, we're going to be cutting lawns today. You see me looking at the camera, making sure it's running. How many times have I filmed <laughs> without the camera running, thinking I got some really great footage, only to discover that uh, I forgot to push the button or I did it wrong. Anyway, we check it first, but we're going to be cutting today uh, my own personal lawn. Uh, and we're going to be doing it on the Xmark Vantage 36 inch standing lawn mower. That thing on the side there is a grass catch bracket. That's for the grass catcher that comes with the Xmark, uh, in case you're not familiar with it. Uh, I leave it on there because it's kind of a pain in the butt to, to, uh, to put on and take off. So just leave it on there. But right now we're cutting it uh, about two and a half inches. I like to cut it a little bit lower during uh, the first couple of cuts, just to get it all cut down. And I uh, like to get that uh, earth heat heating up so uh, we get a nice even greening of the lawn throughout. A lot, you'll notice there's a lot of mulch. And the reason uh, that we're getting so much of this thatch and stuff coming up is because I left, I leave at the end of the summer, I leave my grass about three and a half inches. So what you're seeing is me cutting three and a half inches down to about two and a half inches. I got gator blades on at the moment uh, to try to, uh, you know, grind it up as much as possible. And you'll notice that it's still dormant, so it's very easy to do. You just see that flying all over the place. It gets very dusty. I really should be wearing my RZ mask, but uh, JT wore it last week, so I couldn't. Anyway, let's talk about some of these tools that JT's using on my cleanup last week. You see him here cutting on the tree. That tree has been a thorn in my side for the past couple of years. It keeps growing up into my eaves, and I told him, I said, look, I want to put a water feature right in front of where he's standing right there. Uh, I'd like to do like a half whiskey barrel waterfall type thing down that area, and uh, you wouldn't be able to see it right here. So we're going to kill two birds with one stone. JT's going to cut this bush back severely uh, with this pulse saw, the HTA85, uh, and it's uh, battery powered, working on the AP300S battery from steel. Uh, he's going to cut this bush back uh, quite severely and you'll see that uh, but that was all you know I've had a couple of comments saying man you, know, you ruined the beauty of that tree but really that tree was ruined in my house we needed to cut it back anyway back to mow in the backyard uh, two and a half we like to get it down to two and a half so I'm taking about an inch off right here I know you can't really see it there'll be better views later on where you can really see how much I'm taking uh, but this X mark uh, this X Mark Vantage, I'm just very super impressed with. Uh, I never want to sell it. In fact, I'm already planning to buy a new engine when this one goes. So JT's showing you here that he's using the HTA 85. This is the video that he made for us. So uh, that's my front yard uh, that he's doing. Him and his him and his lady uh, making it pretty for me. Um, you know, as a landscaper, it just seems like we're always the last ones to get to our properties. Hey, listen, I'm not going to be narrating for the whole video. Probably another four or five minutes, guys. Uh, and then we're going to go back into normal video. But JT's now working on these uh, these hedges. He's just he's really just started uh, clipping hedges last year. The first year, I pretty much did everything last year. He really started learning. He's getting pretty good. Uh, he's using uh, the HSA... 56 um, to cut those uh, bushes down. I just showed you the MSA 160 Charlie. I wanted to show you that because he also had to use the chainsaw because that tree that he is working with the pole saw, 
the uh, the branches are too thick at the top to cut it back, so he had to go for chainsaw. So, you know, and this just kind of brings up another fact about this electric equipment. I don't need a chainsaw too much. I'm not a lumberjack. I don't do firewood, so I need a chainsaw once in a while. So. Having an electric one where I could just grab it off the rack, throw a battery in it, and not worry about fuel or anything like that. And the maintenance is a lot easier. Uh, it's just more convenient for lawn care outfits like mine. So elect electric battery powered uh, chainsaws are going to be my thing. And I'm really sold on that pole saw. I'm telling you that battery power was the only thing holding me back. And now that I see how long it lasts uh, for my business, it's perfect. Uh, any business it's perfect maybe buy an extra battery uh, and here's what I'm talking about uh, you can see the top of the dormant grass there's a little green coming through but mostly what I'm doing is sucking up that thatch uh, and, and cutting down there's a good picture you can see how tall it is so uh, Karen's not going to be too happy with me pushing that uh, stuff into her pool I'm trying not to but you know I don't have a flap on this one so we're going to be talking about using the super clean foaming stuff. Uh, I was super impressed with this stuff, guys. We're going to try it on the trimmer. We're going to do a couple of things. We're going to try it on this bottom trimmer. That's my Combi KM91R. Uh, it's got the trimmer attachment on it, obviously. We haven't cleaned this thing in about a year. Uh, the last time I did it, it didn't get too clean, but I got most of it off. So we're going to try this stuff. The directions actually call to water it down. Uh, but people that know me know I'm not much of a directions kind of guy. Uh, I like to read the directions after I screw something up so I can figure out how to fix it. Uh, it's pretty much my MO. Uh, really what you're supposed to do is wash, is wet it down with a hose or something and then spray that stuff on and let it sit three to five minutes. Uh, that's not what I did. I sprayed it on uh, without any water on it whatsoever uh, and I let it sit about 10 minutes. So you'll see what happens when we're when it's done sitting for about 10 minutes. But uh, I just love cutting with this mower. It's just a joy. I never want to give it up. This is a good shot of our Oklahoma blue skies. This is the, uh, the nicest day that we had last week. I was able to get in short sleeves. Uh, the rest of the time I was in a jacket. We went from almost 90s down to below freezing. And here we are. That's a good shot of my backyard here. You can see how much room I've got. We could have lawnmower races back here, guys, if we, uh, you know, got organized or something. Uh, but this is where we do a lot of our barbecues and stuff. I like to get uh, people together, especially we started this lawn care community thing in our local area where we have barbecues. And uh, a couple of times a year. We haven't been able to. We, we were planning a launch barbecue this year. But with this COVID stuff going around, man, we just couldn't do it. It sucks. I hate it. Uh, I really miss people. I'm a people person. I like being around people. But uh, so this this uh, quarantine thing is really hard for me. Anyway, look at the amount of crap that's coming out of that. And, and how fine it cuts it with those gator blades. It's just incredible. Uh, actually, uh, I cut this on Saturday and it rained the next two days. And man, you wouldn't even know that there was a glass grass clipping out there after that rain. Uh, here I am on the front yard. I'm going to shut up and let you listen to the music for a minute. tremor it got it pretty clean guys I'm telling you uh, I was pretty I was well not pretty surprised I was I was amazed really about how well it worked uh, this is after just spraying it off I'm loosely wiping it now because there's a bit of a grime on the top and probably because I forgot to uh, <laughs> wet it down with the hose first uh, let's go but anyway let's get back to KH go to the fridge frame now a little quicker today 
Somebody didn't go for a walk today, so they're a little bit faster on their feet. <laughs> I love that in. No, 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 no. Oh. What are you doing? It's like 40 degrees out here. No. Dummy. Hey, Karen, come here and look at this. Look what that super cleaned into that trimmer. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. You that's, didn't have to. That's what it looked like before. I know, I, re I remember. That's what it looks like now. Dang, that's awesome. Why not? What all did you have to do? Is it in this video? Yeah, okay. you'll see it. All right. Hey, come on. Oh, Wine, get your butt in here. You just got me wet. Come on, dude. Always the last one. I think we solved the licking problem right here. Be a good girl. I'm a good girl always. <laughs> okay. You, are you annoying me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Am I annoying you? <laughs> Ignoring. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ignoring. Yes, I am. I figured. Later on, I will be annoying you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take two. Yes. Hi, all <laughs> Don't ask me why take two. You don't want to know. Trust <laughs> me. Let's just... Su we'll, we'll suffice it to say... That it has something to do with KH. Yes, and, and uh, I've had a drinky poo or two. <laughs> so you're having a uh, crown, a caramel crown. Uh, salted caramel crown. Salted royal. Yeah, and zero coke. And zero coke. Where'd uh -huh. you, how'd you figure that one out? That you like that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I right. figured I'd try it. I'm just it's having a, good. I'm just having a regular whiskey coke, KH. I know. So See, I can't drink regular whiskey. It's been terrible uh, weather around here. It's been raining, and this uh, yesterday morning when we woke up, it was snowing. Yes. Literally snowing. I think I got some footage on my phone. I'm gonna try to put it up around here somewhere. <laughs> but so we haven't been able to get out and do much work. Right. So let's just talk about uh, some of the equipment that JT used uh, and Lex on the on the project that they did on our landscape. That was and a good video. It was a good video. They did some great work. Yeah, uh, I I mean it. He filmed it, but I edited it. Yeah. So uh, thank you very much, by the way. And, oh, and I was I, talking about the front. You know that the video. Yeah. Yeah. The video. Mm -hmm. Where mm -hmm. he did, well, you edited the video, the, yes, sorry. She's I was talking. talking about the work in the front of our Oh, yard. okay, yeah, that was yeah, good. That wasn't was bad. That wasn't bad either. I know, because I got to spend more time with you. I know. and I had the day off. Didn't, didn't have to work at all. Yes. So I showed them all the steel equipment mm -hmm. that I'm popping up around here. <laughs> magic of editing. I can only imagine. Yeah. And I also wanted to talk about the super clean. Because we got that in the mail several weeks ago, yes. and we just haven't had a chance to, to get around to using it. Yes. Well, I've been using this equipment, and uh, some of the stuff, like the chainsaw, I'm going to have to return pretty soon. And the, uh, and the pole saw, I'm going to have to return that mm -hmm. pretty soon to steal, because they just loaned it to me. Right. Uh, I have to return it, but, you know, you have to return something in the same condition that you got it in. That's yes. the way I was raised. So yeah. I got them pretty clean, so I need to clean them up. So I started with that chainsaw today. Yeah. And and it did really well on that chainsaw. It cleaned that sucker up real nice. But what I was really impressed mostly <laughs> was the trimmer, my God. Oh yeah. I you sprayed can, it on there. It was you the can foam. See stuff. the difference. Oh yeah. Just sprayed it on by. her. Sprayed it off. Mm -hmm. There was still like a bit of a film on it. And I took a sponge and I one swipe and it was gone. Oh my god. And you saw what it looked like. Yes, it's amazing. Crazy. So we got stuff for the fridge fan too. Yay! So it's been... Finally! I know. I got <laughs> to cut. 
I got to talk about equipment. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna do a fridge fame thing. I'm yes. so excited. And not only is it a fridge fame thing, I already know who it's from because I recognize the return address, but don't say it. Uh, I won't say the return address. Okay. It's from Josh Elms. That's right. Yep. I wanted it to be a surprise, Josh, but uh, KH ruined it. Sorry. That's why I said don't tell her the address. That's okay, though. I We're didn't. Open I just it up. said the uh, name. I didn't say the address. I mean, <laughs> I didn't want the address to be a surprise. I wanted the person that sent the stuff. <laughs> then you should have said, don't say who it's from. I don't think I could have been more clear. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long week it's, already, y'all. I know. <laughs> Wednesday. We're not even halfway done. We're going to be right. crazy by Friday. Look. Yep. Let's zoom in on that. That is so cool. Now, this is the Elms. Let me hold it because okay. it's reflecting a little bit. This is the Elms Lawn Care sticker uh -huh. that Emily Worley made for him. Oh, wow. Steve Worley's wife. That's awesome. Yeah, Whirly's Lawn Care. Uh, probably find her out there some sometime. They go live once in a while. That's a nice <laughs> sticker, bro. That is very nice. And thanks for spending too. Yes, thank you. And there is a note, unfortunately, yep. because I would have really liked to have made up a note for Josh. What's up, guys? Alms with Alms Lawn Care. <laughs> but go ahead and read it. Okay, it says, Hello, Ben and KH. I absolutely love watching your videos and seeing your company on the live streams. You guys rock. Would love to sticker swap. Here are a couple of mine. Much love and respect. Elms Lawn Care. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, man. Without further ado, let's get Josh with Elms Lawn Care. Up on the fridge of fame. Josh, you're going on the fridge of fame amongst such notables as Three Lakes Landscaping, Acme, NLS, LLC, Cedar Knoll. You're going up on the fridge of fame underneath another guy that's on the Whirly Show a lot, Barnes Lawn Care. Elms Lawn Care is on the fridge of fame directly under Barnes Lawn Care and Kitty Corner to the Mo Ranger from Texas. Heck yes! Welcome Josh. to the Fridge of Fame. <laughs> I keep taking his thunder. Sorry. Josh from Elms Lawn Care. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Fridge, Fridge of Fame. fame. <laughs> We're happy to have you on there with us, man. Yes, we are. Honestly, we are. So that's it, KH. Thank you so much. Please. Send more. We've got yeah. Send stuff for the fridge fed. We've got plenty of room left. Yes, we do. So and I'll have to buy something if we fill up the fridge fed. Yeah. I'm thinking zero turn mower of fame. I'll have to buy it so I can put stickers on it. <laughs> I don't know. We'll talk about it. Love each other. And Peace, guys. Hey, we'll see you on Saturday. Saturday. Bye. See you soon.